So you're planning to write a proposal for a Virginia Space Grant Consortium scholarship or fellowship. Congratulations. I think you'll find that whether or not you receive a scholarship, just the act of writing the proposal will force you to better formulate a focused research project, and you're, you'll be forced to develop a better understanding of the underlying science that will enable you to carry out your project in the long run. Now, my name is Joshua Ehrlich. I'm a professor of physics at William & Mary. I serve on the advisory council of the Virginia Space Grant Consortium, and I'm also one of the judges on the panel of judges for the Virginia Space Grant Proposals. So I wanted to give you some pointers that I think should help you prepare a winning proposal this year. And the most important thing that we look for, should go without saying, is a solid research proposal. So this means you should have a well-defined objective. Your project should be well-motivated, and you should explain what that motivation is for your project. And you should have a plan for how you're going to accomplish your goals in the time that's allotted for your research. Now, whether you're writing a research proposal, or even if you're writing a novel, it's important that you know who your audience is. So in this case, your audience is the panel of judges, uh, and you should know that we're composed of a faculty member in a science or engineering discipline from each of the VSGC member institutions. In no particular order, that's uh, University of Virginia, Virginia Tech, Hampton University, Old Dominion University, and my institution, William & Mary. Now, the process of judging is also overseen by the deputy director of VSGC, that's Chris Carter. And uh, you should know that we're each trained in a technical field, but not necessarily in the specialty of your research. So make sure that you do explain all technical jargon in your proposal. And in fact, I recommend avoiding using jargon as much as possible, at least unless you define uh, that jargon first. You can feel free to throw in figures and images uh, that are often helpful for illustrating conceptual ideas. Uh, don't be afraid of insulting us. We don't get insulted if you explain things that you find to be quite basic. Uh, that will just enhance your proposal. Uh, explain everything. Now, your proposal should somehow be related to the interests of NASA. So NASA, NASA, NASA. So it's important that you make clear in your research proposal, and not just in the responses to questions and the application that you provide together with your proposal, uh, what the relevance is to NASA's objectives. So whether your project is related to space or geology or the climate or psychology or uh, mechanical engineering or anything else, uh, make sure that if you can, try to reference existing NASA projects that are related to the topic of your proposal. This means doing a little bit of homework, going online and seeing what NASA is up to, and making that connection to the topic of your research. Make sure you don't assume that the judges will be aware of all of the activities that NASA is involved in. Uh, you should educate us. Now, it's sometimes a difficult compromise, but we want you to be bold, but we also want you to be realistic. So it's great if your project is describing something that's innovative, that's never been done before, that pushes the boundaries of what's possible, but we also want you to be realistic and you should make clear how it is you're going to approach the solution to the problems that you set out for yourself. Uh, make sure you make clear what resources are available to you in carrying out your objectives and uh, make sure you have com conversations with your advisor uh, before submitting your proposal to make sure that your advisor is on board with the topic of your research and thinks that you'll be able to carry it out as well. If your proposal is not successful this year, it's not the end of the world, don't be discouraged. Uh, VSGC scholarships are highly competitive and you should feel free to contact the uh, representative of VSGC who served on the panel of judges from your institution after you received the response to your proposal. Uh, that person would be able to provide useful feedback and very often a proposal by a student one year that's not successful is successful the following year after making some modifications uh, that strengthen the proposal. So this should help you in future applications. So good luck preparing your proposal, uh, enjoy the process, uh, learn from the process, and I look forward to reading your proposal.